Yo, what's up, world? Welcome back to the channel, APW Sports, signing in. The Carson Wentz trade rumors have been heating up over the past couple of days, and one of the teams that has been thrown around in those rumors are the Indianapolis Colts. So in today's video, we are going to talk about why the Indianapolis Colts need to trade for Carson Wentz. But before I give my thoughts on that, make sure you guys are staying safe, leave a like on this video, and if you are a first time viewer and you love football, this is the place to be. So click that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will not miss a single video that I post. But let's dive into this topic. Without further ado, let's dive into it. I'm striving to get rich. That's why I almost went two years without buying shoes and fits. Things change now. My mom hearing me when my music and she look a little proud. Carson Wentz's name has been thrown around with two teams in particular. The first team is the Chicago Bears, which I previously covered in another video. So I will leave the link to that video in the description below. And I also leave that video in the pinned comment section. And the second team that has been thrown around Carson Wentz's name a lot is the Indianapolis Colts. The Indianapolis Colts are coming off an 11-5 season, which seen them come up very short and win in the AFC South, but still was able to be a playoff team. Unfortunately, losing in a very close contest in the Super Wild Card round to the Buffalo Bills. Now, there is some questions around this Indianapolis Colts team, especially seeing what they're going to do with the wide receiver position with T.Y. Hilton being a free agent. You have Marlon Mack as a free agent, and you also have Xavier Rhodes that is a free agent. But I feel this team, with the offensive line led by Quentin Nelson and Ryan Kelly, who are one of the best offensive line pairs in the NFL, you have a running back core of Naheem Hines and Jonathan Taylor, who has been very, very productive. Michael Pittman Jr. had a very solid rookie season. Jack Doyle at the tight end position has been very well. And you also have a defense led by one of the best defensive players in the league in Darius Leonard. So this Colts team, I feel is a really good football team. I think they are a quarterback away from really staying in that contender spot. They were led last season by Phillip Rivers, who had another good season, even though it was on the last legs of his career. He was still able to lead this Colts offense to be productive. He was still able to move the football with this offense. With Frank Wright at the head coaching spot, I think he has proved himself to be one of the better offensive minds in the NFL. He's proved that he can get productivity out of any quarterback that he's had. In 2018, Andrew Luck was there. 2019, Jacoby Brissett, and they were still a very good football team. And then just this past year with Phillip Rivers, they were an 11-5 football team. So Frank Wright, over his time as a head coach, has proven himself to be a solid head coach he's proven himself to be an offensive of mind that is a very well respected man and is a very good offensive of man that can turn quarterbacks and make them successful another reason why i think carson Wentz would fit very very well with this football team is that he gets to reunite himself with frank wright he was the offensive coordinator with the philadelphia eagles in 2017 and as we all know it has been his best season to date 2019 was his second best year but in 2017, Carson Wentz was on track to win the MVP. Carson Wentz was on track, and he was on the upscale to be one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL until he suffered that torn ACL against the Los Angeles Rams. Carson Wentz, I think, will be a better fit in Indianapolis because, number one, he gets to reunite with Wright. Number two, they are in a spot that he's going to be coached by a very solid head coach versus... Matt Nagy, who I still have not believed in as a Bears fan myself, I still don't believe that Matt Nagy will be the guy that could turn Carson Wentz's career around and get the best out of Wentz. And he will be paired with a very solid offensive line led by Kelly and led by Nelson. When you flip over to the Bears, that offensive line is not very good. Even though I think each team's defense is very good, I feel the pieces on the offensive side of the ball favor better with the Indianapolis Colts, especially with that offensive line that they have. And they also have a head coach who has proven to be the best out of whatever quarterback is in the fold for him. So Carson Wentz, I still think it turned his career around. I still think Carson Wentz can be a very productive quarterback in the league. And I think if things go all right with the Indianapolis Colts and with Frank Wright at the helm at the head coaching spot, I think Carson Wentz can really reinvent himself 
and he can get back to that 2017 level better with the Indianapolis Colts than I think he can get with the Chicago Bears. The Indianapolis Colts still have some moves to make this offseason, but I really trust Frank Wright to number one, fix things with Carson Wentz's mentality. I think he has the tools to really fix Carson Wentz's mind. I really think he has the tools to get weapons around him. He's proven himself to get production out of the quarterback that he has. So I really feel that the Indianapolis Colts, I think are the better fit, and I think they need to go after Carson Wentz because he fits them better, and his contract, albeit is high, I think the Colts are more in the position now to really take on that contract because you still have guys like Leonard that are on their rookie contracts, Quentin Nelson that is still on the rookie contract, Ryan Kelly that is still on the rookie contract. They don't have as much salary cap hits as the Chicago Bears do to take on Carson Wentz's $25 plus million salary. So the best fit for Carson Wentz will be right in Indianapolis so he can get paired with Frank Wright so he can get paired with the offensive line that has been very good the last couple of seasons. And he gets paired with the defense that is still very good. He gets paired with the defense that is one of the top 10 defenses in the league. And they are still growing themselves to a very solid football team. So I think all things said, Carson Wentz is a really great fit with the Indianapolis Colts. Carson Wentz, at the end of the day, feels to me he's better as a Colt versus a Chicago Bear because he has Frank Wright, because he has those pieces, he has a solid offensive line, he's been taking a lot of hits, and he has failed to stay healthy throughout the last couple of seasons. So when you pair him with this line and this offensive-minded coach like Frank Wright, I think Carson Wentz will be in a position to get back to that 2017 form and get back into the quarterback that the Eagles had drafted him to be in that 2016 NFL draft. That is all I have for you guys today. Be sure to leave a like on this video. Comment your thoughts down below on whether you think the Indianapolis Colts need to trade for Carson Wentz or whether you think the Indianapolis Colts need to go after a different quarterback. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I would love to see what you guys think about that. And also, if you have gotten to this point and you are not subscribed, go ahead right now, click that subscribe button, and also click that notification bell so you will not miss a single video that I post. But I am APW Sports signing out. Make sure you guys stay safe, have a great and excellent day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.